Hey. So another malicious troll gave me shit I didn't deserve, including a dox. Someone hiding behind the mask, which allows many of them who are hiding behind the mask to just be a cowardly, ignorant, malicious troll. This time, someone by the name of Kyle James Lee of Fontana, California, on Facebook, hiding behind the mask, identifying as an, an anon, anonymous, lulz sex specifically, which is, he, he, these trolls don't have to be anything associated with them to, in order to front as that, doxing me like a coward as if I have to answer to him. Now all of this secondary harassment I get strengthens my case against Frank Jameson of Michigan. So uh, Mr. Jameson of Michigan has doxed to me many times over the years in, a, in association with his uh, trying to convince people that I'm a child predator and pedophile. He has used fabricated and falsified evidence a number of times also over the years. Um, and, and also death threats. People get a wrong impression and wrong idea that by your wrong guesses that do not have to be any better than wrong guesses. Your guesses are wrong. Now, whether I am right or he is right, the case should not be dismissed out of hand and ignored. It should be pursued no matter what. I am able to withstand the scrutiny of an investigation and Mr. Jameson is not. It is not that I am not worthy of support, it is that you people are not w worth support. There is such a thing as right and wrong, and right and wrong does matter. He does all he does knowingly and willfully. So uh, much of this that has happened is no longer visible. People who are new to this cannot understand it properly. Frank Jameson has had several YouTube channels before his current one, in, of which he took many of his videos down not long ago. Frank Jameson has had very many Instagram accounts, um, and many, almost all of them deleted. Frank Jameson has had a number of Facebook accounts, most of those which have been deleted. There was a strong enough case to go against him for the small amount of harassment and threats he did to, uh, for me uh, against me in 2015. So this remains an unresolved case, an unresolved conflict. The court case that happened in Michigan only for a misdemeanor charge then was thrown out of court without prejudice. This case has only gotten stronger each and every year since then. The person who has a crime commit crimes committed against them is not anyone who is obligated to ignore it. Every idea of yours is wrong. So, communicating a threat. Now, people have the wrong idea that that's not good enough for uh, to be a, uh, a, a, a violation of law that is able to be prosecuted as a crime. Well, if harassment and, and threats over the internet are not able to be pursued as a, as a crime, then the laws should not exist. All of your thinking is dumb and wrong because you have do not have to think any better than that. It doesn't apply to yourselves. The only thing that needs to change is the people who are supposed to do right by upholding the law start being willing to do so. Now Frank Jameson has even posted a Michigan Compile Law, MCL, which he believes that I violate. I don't, and he does. Everything he does is knowing and willful. All of your ideas are wrong. This case should be pursued instead of ignored any further. So this is not a, a meaningless beef or feud. It is not trolling games. I also receive secondary harassment from others who believe Frank Jameson. I have been doxxed many times associated with the false accusations smearing me falsely. Here's what it's like. To stick up for someone, I'm not. I'm not even an accused. I'm not sensibly an accused child predator or pedophile. Everything that that messed up, fouled up person says is 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 dumb and crazy, and he's a liar. He's narcissistic. He has court ordered mental illness treatment. He's a convicted felon already. For you to think he's the one who deserves forgiveness, you have it wrong. He didn't wrong you. The only thing that needs to change is people start caring about doing it the right way. I can withstand the scrutiny of an investigation. He cannot. I, I, pursue the case instead of ignoring it. 
So Frank Jameson is already a convicted felon for weapons offenses, weapons charges, two of them in St. Clair, Michigan in 2012 by plea deal. Plea deal means they might have gone after stronger charges than that if it weren't for the plea deal. If he should just get away with offenses because he's a mental defective, why does he have those? Check on the other cases of threats and harassment over the internet. Weaker cases than mine have been investigated and prosecuted and resulted in convictions, including but not limited to not, not limited to Anthony Alonis. Communicating a threat in and of itself is a violation of law and a crime. Otherwise, the law wouldn't exist, you flipping geniuses. All of your ideas are wrong. His other harassment against me many times for several years is outrageous in nature. I have received harassment in real life, not that computer use and internet use is not real life, okay? I have received harassment, secondary harassment in real life as a result of this conflict with that mental defective, Frank Jameson of Michigan, Frank William Jameson, born in uh, July of 1978. He is a convicted felon for weapons offenses. He does have court-ordered mental illness treatment as a narcissist and other things that he is. He is really a dumb and crazy liar. I can say that about him. To stand up for myself, the things he does against me are serious wrongs that you wouldn't, no one, including yourself or myself, should have to ignore or endure. This case should be rightly pursued instead of being ignored out of hand. I can withstand the scrutiny of an investigation and Mr. Frank Jameson cannot. Get it straight. To report this case honestly as something that ought to be looked into more, to recognize it and address it properly, you don't have to need to know it all. You don't have to need mu need to know much. All you have to need to have seen is any video of his or anything in writing where he means it to be threatening. There is no such thing as other people have to take it seriously. You people don't understand properly that the standard to convict for threats is only the intent to threaten. Whether that person themselves mean it to be received as threatening by the other person. And you also do not understand that there's a difference between insanity legally and mental illness. Mental illness does not equal a free pass. And there is such a thing as guilty but mentally ill. All of your ideas are wrong. I am worthy of support even though you're not worth it. So many people out there have seen Mr. Frank Jameson's repeated out-of-line conduct that are offenses. Giving death threats isn't free speech. Repeatedly trying to convince others that someone is a pedophile and child, child molester is not free speech. It is not just a civil case where I have to give him a, a civil lawsuit. The government is obligated to enforce criminal law even if i did get a, a private attorney at my own personal expense that could not make criminal charges go against frank jameson all you need to have seen in order to report this case saying that it should be urging that it should be pursued recognized and addressed by law enforcement in the criminal justice system is you're having seen any videos of him giving threats the standard to convict for threats is the intent to threaten mental illness is not a free pass there is such a thing as guilty but mentally ill I am worthy of support. So, in addition to Mr. Frank Jameson's giving me outrageous calumny many times each year for eight years now, he has doxed me, giving out my uh, personally identifiable information, including home address, which I've lived in the same place now since the middle of 2015. And he... Uh, posted falsified and faked evidence to try to frame me. That's not an honest mistake. He has posted a Michigan a compiled law uh, section, which he believes I uh, violate, but he does. There is no oops to this. What he does is knowing and willful. If you believe Frank Jameson believe, deserves mercy and forgiveness, that's because he didn't do any of his wrongs to you. The evidence can be revealed to back up this. I have many of his videos saved still.